Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how to use TTRS Online, Touch Type Read Spell Software. Now, before I start, ID, there's a few points I'd like to make. Ideally, you should practice at least 20 minutes per day in order to see the benefits over time. It's also important to remember that you focus on the accuracy of the words typed and not the speed at which you type the words. Speed will naturally develop with regular practice over time. Now before starting the course again it's important to be sitting in a comfortable position having good back support and also making sure that your elbows are resting fully on the desk. Now, One of the most common causes of repetitive strain injury is a poorly adjusted office chair and where a person is not supporting their arms while typing. That's why it's important to have your elbows resting on the office desk. Now the TTRS course is made up of 24 levels I click on the levels here and within each level I click on level 1 you have 31 modules 31 modules so from here you would follow through the instructions so I'm going to click on the first module here and from there then we're going to listen briefly for a few moments with the instructions given and follow through from there so I click on module 1 for start This takes a while to load. Starting from the left hand, place your index finger on the F key and the other fingers in the row on the D, S and A keys. Then on your right hand, place your index finger on the J and your other fingers on the K, L and semicolon keys. Your fingers are now on the home keys. You will feel small ridges on the F and the J keys. Check you have G and H in the middle. Good hands, good home. Place one of your thumbs on the spacebar. If you are right-handed, use your right thumb. If you are left-handed, use your left thumb and tuck the other thumb away. Note the small ridges on the F and the J keys. These help you to remember you have your fingers in the correct position. Press enter on your keyboard to start the first module. Now, from here you would have your hands on, as, as, as stated, the home keys. So I'm going to just start here just to give you a brief overview of the letters. I press return. Keeping the fingers on the home keys, always follow the red finger. If you see a red letter, Press the backspace button and retype the correct letter. Start with the little finger on the A's and follow the red finger. A, A, A. Now again, I have to repeat, it's important not to have speed, but to have accuracy. Now I know it's only one single letter at a time, but I want you to be conscious of that. And as well as that, as spoken, you need only lift one finger at a time from the home keys. That way you won't lose your navigation. So I'm pressing, I'm looking on the screen, I'm looking at the letter, and then I'm looking at the keyboard on the screen, and then I press the finger as indicated on the screen. Don't look at the keyboard. Space. I press the space bar. A, A, A. And again, I'm just only looking at the screen of the letters and the keyboard on the screen, not the physical keyboard next to your desk. Space. A, 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 A. And so on and so forth. So after this, you would progress through the rest of the modules. So I'm just going to jump on now to the next module, which would incorporate letters, and that's module three. So again, you click on levels, and inside in levels you click on module 1 and then from here I'm going to choose module 3 so I shall choose module 3 there and again to start module and follow through the instructions just takes a while a minute to load in this module you will need to read as you go along 
Remember to feel the ridges on the F and the J keys to see if your fingers are in the right position. Try not to look down at your hands. Remember R, then back. Red. Now, this is the first challenge for students in writing up words. So these are the first words now that the student is learning. So again, having the fingers on the home keys, one finger at a time will shall be moved. So R. Backspace. And I've made a mistake there. So again, you need to make sure that your fingers are always returning to the home keys where you will only say see the letters G and H between your two hands. So red and I'm only looking at the screen now. Fed. I'm not looking at the physical keyboard in front of me. And that is the multisensory approach as described. Red. Backspace. And again, make a mistake, and it's fine to make a mistake. Just press the backspace, go back to your home key positions, and press the key with one finger. Fed. And so on and so forth. So that's that particular section. So you would work through with that. And now I want to bring you on to the next advanced change in modules, which would be the, the modules that the module 5. So I click on that. Start that module. Now in this module you will not be seeing the letter in front of you. Dictation module. Listen carefully and then type the word you hear. Press number 2 to repeat or number 5 to show the word. Fed. So here we are, we're back in the home keys again, making sure that we're sitting in a nice comfortable position. Arms are supported. And as you can see, the word is, the letter is not placed on the screen. So you need to press Fed. 2 to repeat it. Wed. And again, just looking on the screen. Red. Lead. Fed. And so on and so forth. So that is more or less the end of the session here. As a general rule of thumb at the end, I want you to point out that if you receive a percentage score that is below 90, then I would ask that you repeat that particular module. It's very important to remember again that accuracy, the accuracy of the words typed, is more important than the speed at which you type the word. And you've seen here I've made a few mistakes as I was speeding. And uh, basically that's the end of my tutorial here. Thank you for watching.